Welcome to Alley Cat's assistance video on switching your small valve orientation. Unscrew the two valve screws positioned at the top of the valve shell, then remove the aluminum cover and set it aside. Next, remove the two large screws which mount the valve assembly to the sensor head. Be careful not to lose any pieces. Unscrew the four T8 torque screws from the front half of the electronics case. Remove the LCD display by first unscrewing the two mounting screws and setting aside the clear nylon washers. Then, simply grip the display and pull it straight out. Move the valve wires and grommet to the right side case cutout. Place the currently removed LCD being careful to correctly line up the 10 pin connector before pushing it on. Then put the nylon washers and mounting screws back in place. Reattach the front case half using the four T8 Torx screws. Then reinsert the plastic plug into the left side hole on the case seam. It's important to understand that the brass valve block has a specific inlet and outlet orientation. Now, rotate the brass valve 180 degrees within the valve coil. Please note that the inlet hole is closer to the valve stem and the outlet hole is positioned near the bottom. Reattach the valve and its associated components. Ensure that the hole passages are aligned with the brass valve. That is, with gas flowing from left to right, the inlet of the valve is on the high side and the outlet of the control valve is on the left side of the brass block. Place the steel alignment pins into the two holes that flanks the gas outlet hole. Then, place the end block onto the assembly, once again noting the orientation of the flow passages. Then, firmly tighten the screws in unison, but do not over torque. Finally, slide the aluminum valve shell over the valve coil and tighten the valve screws in place. Your small valve is now switched. 